Official information has revealed alarming information about the plight of our favourite fish, the snapper. Some are suffering from starvation. Fishers say an increasing number of snapper caught in the Hauraki Gulf are in poor condition with flaky white fillets. Documents show Biosecurity New Zealand suspect it's because of chronic malnutrition. Our investigations correspondent Michael Mora has this exclusive story. The fillets are white and mushy and distinctively different from the firm, almost translucent fillets most are used to. It's a worrying and unwelcome sight, and the reason why is just as worrying. Simply, they're starving. The fish in the Hauraki Gulf right now are starving. Staff at this Kaika filleting station in Auckland say it's an increasing problem, not just with snapper, but Trevally too. We know that about 20% of the fish that are now being cut all have this milky flesh issue with them. Official information shows Biosecurity New Zealand did not find any evidence to indicate a biosecurity concern regarding exotic diseases or infectious agents. Rather, its report said it is suspected that the milky white flesh syndrome seen in snapper is related to chronic malnutrition. In essence, the fish it studied was skinny and wasted. This report found evidence of liver and muscle atrophy and degenerative changes associated with tissue breakdown following, quote, a period of prolonged starvation. Sam Wilford wants bottom trawling gone, saying it's wrecking species like mussels that snapper rely on. This is a government report and they've done nothing about it. This is an opportunity for us to be prudent, to be proactive. Multiple reports on the state of the Hauraki Gulf have found serious issues. Raywin Peart says sediment runoff is choking the seabed and agrees trawling in the Gulf should be banned. It means that those, that food that the snapper need from the seabed isn't necessarily there, and it's trawling in the outer Gulf, which is essentially ploughing up those um, seabed habitats. And she's frustrated at the lack of action, especially the slow pace of implementing marine protected areas. The, the progress on this has been glacially slow. The government's now paying Niwa to investigate why more snapper in the Gulf are starving. But there could be multiple explanations. You know, we've had quite a bit of rainfall, so potential for uh, increase in sedimentation or other things that are coming from the land could be contributing to it. Dr Darren Parsons says La Nina conditions and the predominant northeasterly winds could also play a part. You're getting surface waters flowing into the Gulf and that kind of um, stops the deeper nutrient-rich offshore waters from upwelling. Niwa will provide advice to the government by November. The concern remains, however, that it's yet another report into Auckland's big blue backyard, which we already know is in trouble. Well, kia ora, Michael. This is not good. What's MBI saying? Yeah, well, the first thing the Director of Fisheries Management, Emma Taylor, is saying is that fish with this issue are safe to eat. MPI is obviously engaging Niwa and says it is taking action, but she says that it's complex and they don't want to draw conclusions too quickly. For example, when snappers spawn, they can lose condition and also marine heat waves could play a role here. But, I mean, I've caught snapper in this condition before and, and wondered what was wrong with them, but what MPI is now acknowledging is that there are, quote, increasing reports of this problem and they want to get to the bottom of why that is. Mm. Michael, thank you.